this is problem number six on the uh, 2015 Sycamore Invitational uh, target round. And this was a very difficult problem, um, as nobody um, in the competition got it right. Um, and so, um, however, when you get the idea here, it turns out to be somewhat doable if you've done some problems like this. So the keys are this length right here, HG, is the same as AC, because it said the diameter of the small circle is the same as the square. And then you also know that the radius of the circle is 12, is 6, because the diameter is 12, and that's of the big circle. The first key thing to notice is that the center of the circle must be inside the square. It can't be inside the circle because um, the, length of si the length of the diameter of the small circle plus the side of the square is less than 12 because it's less than a diameter, and so that means half of it's less than 6, and since the, the radius is 6, we know that it's um, greater than that. So we know our length is there. So what it comes down to, the easiest thing to do is to recognize that that length right there, we can give a value of x. And then we also know that this length right here is 6. And then we also know that this length the diameter of the circle is going to be 6 minus x because from the center of the circle, which we'll, we're going to call k here, from k to h is just a radius, and the radius is 6, and so the diameter of that circle is 6 minus x, which then means that this length is 6 minus x. Well, anytime I see problems like this that use radius, what I always want to do is to try to find a right triangle that I can apply the Pythagorean theorem to. So if I draw in this length here, and get a right triangle. I know that this length is just half the side length of the square, so 6 minus x over 2. And then this length right here is x, which means this length right here is 6 minus x, and then minus x again, because 6 minus x is the length of the side of the square, and then you subtract away that little x piece, and you get 6 minus 2x. So that allows us to apply the Pythagorean theorem, 6 minus x over 2 squared, plus 6 minus 2x squared equals 6 squared. If we go through and apply your um, Pythagorean theorem, you're going to get 36 minus 12x plus x squared all over 4, plus 36 minus uh, 24x plus 4x squared equals 36. Notice the 36 is canceled there, which makes life a little easier. It's a good idea here to go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by 4. So that gives me 36 minus 12x plus x squared, clearing out that 4. And then I've got to multiply these two by 4, and so I get negative 96x plus 16x squared equals 0. So that gives me, and this is an x squared there, that gives me 17x squared minus 108x plus 36 equals 0. We can go ahead and solve this using the Pythagorean theorem or the quadratic formula. And so, you know, quadratic formula is negative x equals a negative b, so it's going to be 108. This is the b term, negative 108. Minus, plus or minus square root of b squared, so 108 squared minus 4 times 17 times 36 all over um, 2 times 17. The nice thing here is that when you use your calculator and plug all this into your calculator and take the square root, it gets to 96. Your two options end up being, when you do the plus or minus, you could either have 204 over 34, or you can have um, 12 over 34. But 204 over 34 um, turns out to be Um, 6, and clearly it can't be 6, because then that would give you a degenerate circle. And so we know this doesn't work, and so we know this must be the answer, 6 over 17. So x is 6 over 17, so the side length of the square is 6 minus x, so we do 6 minus 6 over 17, which if you do your calculations gives you 96 over 17. So the correct answer there was 96 over 17. Very difficult, challenging problem, but also a very good um, application of using um, what you know about a circle and the Pythagorean theorem to solve a problem.